Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying Trader Joe's Barbecue Recipe Chicken Pizza. It is topped with tangy barbecue sauce, chicken, mozzarella, and gouda cheese, and red onions. It says, keep frozen, ready to cook. This is only 13 ounces, 369 grams, so it is not a, um, it's it's not a extra large pizza or anything. It's it's actually uh, I think on the smaller side. It was five dollars forty nine cents. And let's see. There we go. Yes, that is a to me that is a smaller pizza. Um, the whole pizza is only eight hundred seventy calories. So a third is two ninety eight eight seventy for the whole thing. So, cooking instructions. Cook from frozen, of course. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Remove pizza from packaging and place directly onto center rack of oven. Bake eight to 10 minutes or until cheese is melted. Uh, crust is golden brown and internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know anybody that takes the temperature of a pizza. Um, for a crisper crust, bake in a, at an additional minute or two. So, I'm going to, uh, there is no cardboard, so you need to get out a cookie, uh, um, cutting, board. cutting board, yeah, to cut it on. Uh, but I'm going to set our timer for 10 minutes and I'll check on it. But then when we come back, I'll tell you the total time I left it. So I left the pizza in for 10 minutes. It smells absolutely delicious. It smells like something you would get at a uh, restaurant, honestly. Um, I, I, I noticed I should have probably spread out the chicken a little bit more because uh, some pieces have more than others, but that's okay. Yeah, the uh, I'm smelling the onion Onions, as yeah. you're cutting that. It just smells incredible. So this says, pizza may have its origins in Italy, but Trader Joe's barbecue recipe chicken pizza is as American as baseball and apple pie. Inspired by its Romanesque relations, this premier pizza starts with a hand-stretched crust that's baked in a wood-fired oven and topped with a sweet, smoky barbecue sauce. To that, we add mozzarella, smoked gouda, fire-roasted red onions, cilantro, and of course, char-grilled chicken breast. It's a classic American pizza, as only Trader Joe's can make it. Okay. It smells really good. The cheese is kind of stretchy when I pulled it apart, so that was nice. No, I was going to try this one with all the... No, I'm going to try this one. I've got one with everything. Well, this one doesn't have quite as much cheese, but... I like the onions and the chicken. I'm gonna get another bite with Big hunks onion. of chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's actually really delicious. Mm -hmm. And I'm impressed that it's not watery. Um, Especially frozen onions onion. and chicken. Yeah, you... Um, you get nice, uh, the, the pieces of onion are like squares, they're nice chunky squares. Mm -hmm. And then the pieces of chicken are nice chunks of chicken too. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's shredded or anything like that, it's mm -hmm. actually chunks of chicken. No, it's really nice and the, the crust itself is really got a nice uh, crunch to it. And uh, even the edges have a really nice crunch to it. Mm -hmm. My only complaint, because um, I got to complain about something, I wish they had a little bit more barbecue sauce on it. I mean, I get the flavor of the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce, but I wish there was a little bit more to give it more oomph. Mm. I agree. You could have some more barbecue yeah. sauce for me. Just too. a little bit, not a lot more. Just, just mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more on there, because the just you, to add some more flavor. Yeah, because you get the smokiness a little bit, and you get a little bit of that sweetness. But I wish there was a little bit more smoky, more sweetness, and a little bit more savoriness. Mm -hmm. um, I think if it had a little bit more barbecue sauce on it, it would be like perfect. Oh yeah. This um, really got. I love the onions. I do too. This is a um, besides needing just a tad more barbecue sauce. This is a great surprise. Mm -hmm. And it, honestly, if you had your own barbecue sauce in the refrigerator, 
You could dip take it, it or pour it or whatever. Dip it. Yeah, you could dip it. You could pour it over the top, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we try not to add anything extra if we can. Because, um, you know, 870 calories, I don't think that the, you know, it is a smaller pizza. But seeing it now um, with all the stuff on it and how chunky it is, how much filling. you get, I think it'll be very filling. Mm -hmm. um, I would totally get this one again. I would too. Yeah. I would get it again. Yeah. I might drizzle a little bit more barbecue sauce on it. Besides that, though. Now, okay, so would you do that before you baked it so that it would be hot? Mm -hmm. You would, I mean, heat hot, not spicy. I would you, dump lots of it, but I would literally just squirt a little bit on the top, just kind of over the whole thing. Right. Just so it has just a little bit more. But if you didn't want to do that, you could heat it, uh, heat your bar. Like we keep ours in the refrigerator, uh, so we would heat it. You could heat it up in a little bowl if you yeah. wanted in the microwave, yeah, and, and you could dip it, it in there if you it. wanted to. Yeah. Um, but I think this is a great pizza. I think dipping it, I would use a lot more. Oh, I would too. Yeah, yeah but if you drizzle it, it would add the flavor without over, over adding. Or right. Over. But if you like it's chicken, really uh, and onion especially, mm -hmm. but it's not a harsh onion, it's a sweet onion. Yeah, That's, where it's been grilled, it's kind of got the sweeter flavor. Yes, so it's, it's a really sweet nice. onion. It's not harsh at all. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the kind of onion I like. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I like it. So you'll have to let us know if you've ever had this one before from Trader Joe's. I bought another one to try, so, so now I'm really excited mm -hmm. to try that one after trying this. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.